Hey guys, welcome to another English commentary done by Diggity. This is MSL round of 16, the second match between Zelos and Kanata, and it's on Loki 2. And just a little bit of a heads up, I do know who wins this match, uh, but I'll try not to spoil it with anything. It looks like Kanata is starting in the upper right hand corner in pink. Huh, alright, pink. Uh, and in, in the lower left hand corner, uh, about, uh, about the 8 o'clock position, we have Zelos. If you guys haven't caught up on anything, or if you aren't familiar with these players, uh, Boxer is the, the kind of the best known StarCraft player in history. Like, best player, anyone say, if anyone goes up and says, hey, who's the best StarCraft player, period, most people will say, out of any period of time, it was Boxer. Zelos just recently beat Boxer, even though Boxer's out of form. And it was kind of interesting because it was one of those old school epic matchups where Zelos at one time was considered the best Terran, and it was Boxer who really took that role from him and then had his, his really long running streak. Zelos was uh, kind of a reigning champ around 2003 where he just had uh, just amazing micro, amazing micro, and has since really fallen from grace. In his matchup against Boxer in Pro League play, uh, I think it, yeah, it was, it was basically Boxer's playing for Ace, and both players not playing extremely well. It was sloppy on uh, on both hands really. Uh, Boxer went for an early kind of Stargate or sorry Starport rush, and uh, Zelos just kind of went with <laughs> early Goliaths and Vultures and ended up winning. But really, kind of sloppy micro, sloppy macro, and sloppy decision making on both players part but I think I think it might have given Zelos his mojo back and really I think it might have given him the confidence he needs to press deeper in the MSL and I'm really hoping that's the case Kanata on the other hand he's kind of he's been a rising star uh, in Terran for for his team for a very long time now and really I say that kind of backhandedly rising star new guy he, he's really getting over the edge to where he's becoming less of a new face and more of an established player. So really he needs to get something done in this pro league or something soon uh, to really establish himself as kind of a top tier player. And this is a really good opportunity. Zelos is a really old school, known, he's inconsistent but known for good play. Kanata, I think his best matches are against other Terran players. He had a fantastic match against Boxer and he really rises to the level of play uh, that his opponents show. Looks like both players right now going for a pretty standard build, going for that barracks, going with that refinery, and uh, just going to kind of do the, the standard build. Looks, uh, Kanata is being very vicious about uh, keeping keeping that ramp block. He had an SCV down early, he has that marine out now, and, <laughs> and, and uh, Zelos produced a single marine right there, so he's going to try to take down SCV, and it looks like Zelos has finished producing marines. He's going to He's gonna uh, just save res, and he's gonna use that. He's gonna take that barrack out to scout uh, factory going down for Kanata now. Kanata, really, yeah, he plays uh, to his opponent's level, and uh, this could be the match for him. This could be uh, his season in the MSL. Not necessarily to win it, because I don't think he is gonna win it uh, all. Because really, uh, it's out of it's it's most likely Huesen, Bisu, or Savior. The three of them are just playing amazingly. If you haven't seen the Huesen Bisu match already, go check it out. It looked like the championship game, and I really do feel like whoever comes out of that grouping could very well be the champion. No offense to Quanro, but yeah, that was just a fantastic match. Point being though, these guys, fantastic, so expect a good matchup. Starport going down for Kanata. Kanata's going with early tech. He's got that Starport down. He has another SEV in position there, so he's going to follow it up with, with something other there. I'm not sure if it's going to be a second factory. Uh, two Starports going down for Kanata. Kanata is going with very early tech. Wow, a set early secondary down for Zelos. This is going to be very hard for Zelos to fight off. Uh, he went straight to that, that, uh, that, that secondary there. He only has a single Vulture and a single Marine out. Unless he puts it down the second factory sometime in the very near future, he's not going to really be able to combat this. Uh, really, he's got to get a scout in Kanata's base if he's going to be able to see any of this coming, and I don't think his barracks is going to get there in time, and that single vulture isn't going to be able to get up Kanata's ramp. Uh, looks like he's putting down that second factory now. He's got that machine shop going down now, but he has no semblance of an air defense. No semblance whatsoever. That barrack of Kanata's floating out now. Uh, right now, Kanata just has more forces and first Wraith coming out right now, this is going to be very difficult for Zealous to repel. And this is a really good map for this sort of setup. Wraiths can just get across the map much faster than other units. And, and if you deny uh, that scout 
like Zealous has done. Zealous going up, taking out Tomb Raiders. He is going to be able to get up the ramp. That is huge. That was a big miscue on Kanata's part. He's going to get up. He's going to see this tech. Uh, those SCVs coming down. It's too late. He sees the tech. He's going to be able to defend against the starports. Immediately, he's got to shift, get an engineering bay down, get an armory up. That was some brilliant micro on Zealous' part, and that was a huge miscue by Kanata. That first Wraith out, rushing down to Zealous' base. He's got to get that Wraith there before any sort of air, uh, air defense goes up. That armory going down. He's going to be able to get Goliath out. That was, oh, that was amazing. Uh, won by Zealous, uh, maybe somewhat uh, fortunate on his part. Both an engineering berry and an army going up. You can see the frustration uh, right there on Kanata's face. He's pissed. He can't believe he made that miscue. He had this game in hand, and now he does not. Uh, and, and really, that starport not going to be going down anytime soon. Two vultures and that wraith coming up. Two SCVs repairing that other SCV to get that engineering bay up. Excellent micro by Zelos, and really, uh, that is key. He needs to get that engineering bay up. So, oh, two Goliaths out. He might be able to take Wraiths now cloaking. He needs to get that engineering bay out to get that turret up. Two Goliaths in place, repairing that other SCV. He's just trying to get tech out. He just, yeah, he's got that uh, that that engineering bait and doing an excellent job of, of splitting his SCVs around and, and keeping uh, Kanata occupied. Uh, in the meantime, Kanata bringing up those two vultures, uh, that tank and that marine are going to be able to repel that. He's trying to get that turret up at his secondary. Uh, really, oh man, desperately left and right, trying to get that that uh, that academy up as well, so he can get comset going. If he gets his turret, he gets the turret up. He's saved uh, more or less. He's saved his main. Uh, he still needs to get more turrets down, but he isn't going to lose at this juncture to this attack. Uh, he still has that academy down. Oh man, pins a wraith in, manages to take one of them down. Just a little miscue, and that wraith is out of energy. This attack has failed. Kanata now in a very bad situation. Zelos has a secondary up. He's nowhere close to getting his secondary to full, full production. Two factories for Zelos. Zelos has Goliath, a tank, a marine out. He can start pushing at Kanata at this moment. The question is, is will he? Kanata really needs to quickly produce uh, some sort of tech. He's trying to take down Zelos' barracks. So he doesn't get a good view of the basically his force size uh, on screen. People here ducking left and right. This is turning into a fantastic match, exactly like I was hoping. Two tanks are going to try to block that, but wow, one tank, several Goliaths out. He's going to be able to take out that wraith. But the question is, is uh, will Kanata be able to micro well enough to keep his ramp solid to basically defend against this? And if he gets siege tech out before Zelos does, it looks like uh, Zelos didn't have that machine shop. Uh, I, I don't know when Zelos will have siege tech is kind of the key here, and if he can get up there in time before that siege tech goes down, before he really has uh, no siege tech up for Kanata right now, this is going to make, wow, this match is, it has just turned into a long-term match. Kanata is going to be able to take his secondary. Uh, that single tank and all those Goliaths are not going to be able to take. Uh, that was an excellent recovery by Kanata. Om almost losing that, loses that tank. Brilliant micro by Kanata, uh, bringing up uh, another siege tank to force these Goliaths back. Uh, Zealous, in the meantime, very intelligent, kind of cutting his losses. He's going to try to take that barrack out. Uh, let's see if he manages to take it out. If he takes it out, that's going to delay Kanata somewhat because he's going to have to repair. Oh, wow. Uh, Kanata realizing he's at an economic disadvantage, immediately going, uh, building another expansion. But it looks like Zelos is right on cue. He's also building another expansion. This game is just evened out. It's anyone's game at this point. A few more siege tanks out for Kanata. It looks like, oh, wow, Zelos. <laughs> returning the favor to Kanata, he's producing wraiths of his own, and uh, if he gets cloaking out, Kanata's not going to have anything to fight this off. He doesn't have an armory up. He doesn't have his academy. Zelos really taking the little bit of tech that that Kanata does not have, and, and just going to, to seize that advantage. It's a brilliant maneuver. Building a second factory, you can see there's nothing to defend against those rays uh, in Kanata's base. He's still producing ground tech. He has other rays, but cloak rays uh, versus that plus the comsat, it's going to be a difficult situation for Kanata. A single marine out, comsat going down. Uh, so he's able, well now it looks like, yeah, he got that scout on, he's going to see the race. So the exact same situation, but flipped for earlier. Uh, but my guess is, is since Zelos is in a very comfortable position, he's not going to feel the need to force this attack forward. Uh, in the meantime, he's, yeah, that armory going up, <clears throat> looks like something was canceled there. Uh, another Wraith out. That was a very key scout by Kanata as well. Looks like another starport going down. This could turn into a very heavy air match. Three starports going down for Kanata. Uh, we already got two starports up for Zelos. And really, you got to give the, the advantage to Zelos at the moment. He has a lot of Goliaths down. Kanata has one more tank at this moment. A large air force of, uh, of Zelos coming up here.